This is Sonic Science and I am Mr. Sony and I've been in education now for 23 years. I hold a national role in science education. So I train lots of teachers around the country and it's an absolute privilege to be in the role that I am. With that, I get to work with brilliant students like yourself. And so welcome to the video and I really hope you find great value in this. Today, we're talking about multi-step calculations and hone our skills on the grade seven plus questions all higher tier on two questions in particular, one on power, and the other one on electricity. Do feel free at any point in the actual video to pause the video, try the questions yourself, see how you do, and then go off and try others. There's loads of questions widely available online. So please endeavor to build your skills, hone your skills, be better, be stronger, be more confident. The practice that you do, the practice that you engage in, the more you will become perfect at these five to six mark questions, and you will absolutely nail it. No problem at all by the end of the process. If you like the video, please do, of course, smash the like button. If you like and subscribe it, that's a double whammy. That'll be a double bonus. And so please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button as well. The channel is a very early inception of my, my ideas. And so I would like to see how these beautiful ideas grow and you would be integral to that journey. So really lovely to see you all again. And let's go for it. Three, two, one, go. And just as a reminder, remember, whenever you deal with these multi-step calculations, you must always, always, always use the tried and tested technique, such as Ezra. Equation must be written. You then must substitute the numbers in, then you must rearrange, and then finally you must give me an answer. Now, some people do the rearranging, they'll do the substitution, they'll do the answer. Either way is absolutely fine. Just make sure you are consistent with it to be able to get the marks. And they do give you marks for substitution. That's why it's often done earlier. So just bear that in mind. Okay, let's have a look at this question. So the current in the lamp is 0 0.21 amps when the potential difference across the lamp is six volts. So you know you're working with the figure 0 0.21 amps and you're working with the figure 6.0 volts. Calculate the energy transferred by the filament lamp in 30 minutes. Now, straight away, you know this has got to be converted to seconds because time in science is always measured in seconds. So you do 30 times 60, which will give you 1,800 seconds. Great. Okay. Now, I always use a technique called Ezra, where you write the equation, you substitute the numbers, you rearrange if necessary, and you write an answer. So let's have a look at what kind of equations I'm going to require here. So I've got my, as I said, I've got my current and I've got my voltage and straight away the formula that links the current and the voltage or the current and the potential difference is this power equation here. So power is equal to potential difference times current. Now look at the second part of this particular equation. You can see calculate the energy transferred by the filament lamp in 30 minutes. So you've got the time and they're asking you to work out the energy transferred. And from these two values here, you're going to work out power. So the formula that will link power and time together is this one down the bottom. So it's energy transferred is power times time. So let's get cracking with that and let's work this out. So the equation that you're going to require here is power is equal to potential difference times the current. So power is potential difference is six and the current is 0.21. And so you know that 6 times 0 0.21 is what you're going to have to plug into your calculator to work out power. Now, note to you all is that remember, you must substitute the numbers in in order to be able to gain accreditation or a mark for this particular part of your equation. Okay, so make sure you have substituted those numbers in because that will give you a mark in the exam. Rearrangement wise, you don't need to rearrange anything because the variable you're trying to work out is power and you know you've got to times those two numbers to be able to get it. So there's no rearrangement required there. So you just put an X there as I've just done. So now I'm going to plug in my, uh, my numbers into my calculator and you can see that when I do that, it gives me a value of 1.26 watts, which is 6 times 0.21 will give you 1.26 six watts. All right. So now I've got my power. Great. So the second formula I'm going to need here is, and um, I'm going to need, as I said to you earlier, energy transferred is power times time. My power, as you know, is, uh, there. So energy transferred is power times time. Um, 
and I'm going to substitute my numbers in. So energy transferred is equal to power, which is 1.26 times time, which is 1,800 seconds. And then I'm going to rearrange it if necessary. I'm not going to need to because not required. So just put an X there. And now I'm going to put in the answer. So 1.26 times 1,800 will give me a figure of 2, 2, 6, 8 joules. And that is what will go into here. And that, folks, will give me my 5 marks. Right, so let's have a look at this particular question. So, figure 13 shows part of a mains electricity lighting circuit in a house. You've got a neutral wire feeding into a lamp. Then you've got a switch, and which is open, and then you've got a live wire uh, here as well. So, a fault in the switch caused a householder to receive a mild electric shock. God, I do hope they're okay. Before a safety device switched the circuit off. Okay, brilliant. Thank God for that. The mean power transfer to the person was 5.75 watts. So, the power going to the person was 5.75 watts. All right, brilliant. The potential difference, or voltage, across the person was 230 volts. Calculate the resistance of the person. Right, so we've got our power, we've got our potential difference, we need to work out resistance. Now, right, something is missing there, let's have a look. Okay, okay. So, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. So we've got power, we've got potential difference, we need resistance. So, uh, in terms of power... Um, power is potential difference times current. So we've got power, we've got potential difference, we've got power there, we've got potential difference there, but doing something with this formula will give me the current. Now, I know I'm going to need to use the, 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 the current in terms of being able to work out resistance. So let's go with this particular formula. So we've got current, which can be used here. Uh, we have the potential difference here, which can be used here, and we can do something with those two numbers to work out the resistance. So I know I'm going to need this formula, and I'm going to need this formula here. All right, so here we go. Let's do it. So uh, let's start with the equation, which is our first equation was power is equal to potential difference times current. All right, so now let's substitute our numbers in. So we've got our power, which is 5.75 watts, is equal to voltage, which is 230 volts. And we know that that is times current, but we don't know what our current is yet because we haven't worked it out. So now it's time to rearrange. So you know that we're trying to work out current. Now, remember, when I, whenever I rearrange, I always write the symbols out because I think it's really important to do that in terms of working out what it is and how to rearrange that particular equation. So I am going to rewrite that. So it's power is equal to voltage times current. I'm working at current. So I'm going to put a circle around the current. Now, remember, current is next to voltage in this equation. So they are currently being multiplied, no pun intended. To work out, uh, to, to, sorry, to cancel out a multiplication, you need to divide it. So if you divide this side by V, V would cancel V, and that would leave a current there by himself as the subject. Whatever I did on this side, I need to do on this side. So I divided this side by V, so I need to divide that side by V as well. So when I rewrite that equation, it becomes current equals power divided by voltage divided by voltage so now i've got my ways and means to work out my current brilliant wonderful now i'm going to plug in my numbers so dot 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 so current equals power which is 5.75 divided by voltage which was 230 volts and then when i've done that Folks, that will give me my answer, which is 5.75 divided by 230 gives me 0.025 amps. Wonderful. So now I've got my amps. Brilliant. Lovely. Lots of thumbs up here. Very, very happy with that. The so 0.025 amps. Brilliant. Right. 
I'm really happy with. So now we go to my second equation. Calculate the resistance of the person. So we're going to have to use uh, something that is going to involve resistance. Here we go. So potential difference is current times resistance. So potential difference uh, is current times resistance. Brilliant. All right. Now let's substitute. So it's going to be 230, which is our voltage, is equal to current, which we know our current, where are you, is 0 0.025 amps. And we're going to times that by the resistance. But of course, we don't know what the resistance is. So we're going to have to rearrange the formula. Now, remember, for rearranging, I always write the formula out in terms of its symbols. So voltage is equal to current times resistance. I'm working out resistance. So remember, uh, the current, uh, sorry, the resistance is next to the, uh, to the current in this equation. And so in order to get rid of a multiplication, you need to divide. So in this case, you will divide that side by I. So if I will cancel I, leaving R by himself. And whatever I did on this side, I need to do on this side. So because I divided that side by I, I need to divide that side by I. So when I rewrite this particular equation, it'll be resistance equals voltage divided by current. Lovely. Now I'm going to plug in my numbers. So it'll be resistance is voltage, which was 230 volts. And we know that from here. Divided by the current, which we know was 0 0.025 amps. And when I plug that in to my calculator, it will give me 9,200. And the unit is already given there. It is ohms for the, for the symbol for uh, resistance. And so that, folks, is our answer for the full five marks. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that it was useful for you. I hope that it was able to clarify some of those hideous power calculations and electricity questions in particular. And so, as I said to you earlier, definitely go off, try different exam questions. Practice makes perfect with these things. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, take care, everybody. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.